Hello. Hey. Hey. What? Hey. Hey. But, but, uh, whoa! It's uh, it's dark. It is. It's, I, there's no video, and there's a ghost about. Oh no! Oh, jeez. Now you're now we're gonna get yelled at. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Because of the ghost attack? Because go, yeah. Because that's still controversial. A year a year on. Oh, it, it, it's it's just a year later, July. <laughs> <laughs> no, we really we did just have our. Our, our one, one year anniversary. Year. I think it's this Tuesday. And to celebrate we'll it, we're going on dereliction of duty. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Basically, well, no, we're taking a vacation. From when we're recording this. It was several Tuesdays ago yeah. by the time people are hearing this. Oh, right. Of course, July 26th. <laughs> oh, Justin, how's yeah. your vacation going? Well, I'm still in Germany. Oh, still. how long did you last before you mentioned World War II? <laughs> uh, uh, all I'm going to say is... Uh, uh, Bet the under. <laughs> <laughs> I can just, I can just, this is how I envision. I envision that I'm going to be at some random bar where a very friendly person is talking to me. Cause in general, whenever, like, Americans are kind of, I, I've found to be the like Mickey Mouse of the world. <laughs> some people might really not like Disney, mm -hmm. but everybody knows Mickey Mouse yeah. and everyone's kind of excited to see Mickey Mouse, even if they don't like the corporation like, like for you, which you it represents. Say, oh, oh, Disney, uh, uh, Pixar, Cars, uh, or oh, American, hey, buddy, yeah. Yeah, because yeah. all of our shit is famous. Yeah. Like, like, mm -hmm. Regardless all of our shit. The, yeah, it's like, sorry, we're culture. Famous. <laughs> Positive our and movies negative. are famous. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Uh, uh, so I, I, there's going to be a point where I'm going to be talking to somebody. It's going to be very friendly. And then I'm just going to be like, well, you know, it's like. <laughs> just gonna, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to brace my core and I'm going to see if I can if I can keep the World War Two joke that I would normally make. Yeah. Just in general. now. How now would you feel OK making World War Two references if you only were talking about the Pacific Theater? <laughs> Ooh, that's actually pretty good. Either that or Hero, wow, you know, this, right? this does schnitzel substitute. is the nuclear bomb. <laughs> <laughs> it's like what? We never dropped a nuclear bomb on you <laughs> yet. Yeah, <laughs> there's some real Pearl Harbors of wisdom that you're sharing. It's not with like me. it's not like you're having entanglements with a nuclear power at the moment. <laughs> Seriously, would you stop drinking his motor oil? Stop. Stops the motor oil. <laughs> You've had two, one too many. <laughs> it's, it's, it's fresh from Russia. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe I should. Maybe I should. I should really you learn a lot about the Pacific on War. My, on my, uh, uh, I'll, I'll listen to all the 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 Dan Carlin episodes. <laughs> yeah. about the, the Pacific Theater. Uh, all all nineteen hours. Tell people your name is Perry. Huh? Pete, Admiral. Admiral, Admiral Admiral Perry. I got that joke. Open, yeah. just, opened up, uh, opened I'll, up I'll Japan tell, I'll tell you to what, the West. Anytime, anytime you want to talk about World War II, just talk about the Civil War, and uh, and and be all like, uh, uh, yeah, <laughs> so we we hate racism so much, we went to war with ourselves. Yeah. Why are you hitting yourself? Why are you hitting yourself? That's you're, what we should have collected. I think, I think Germany people. might have some ideas about fighting with itself. Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, well, uh, 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 yeah, they yeah. had a famous yeah. little split. So, did they have scene. their own like version of the Mason-Dixon line? Like, I'd love to hear all about it. It's more of a three's company that, situation. Though. Yeah. Because that's post-World War II. The, the, the fall of the Berlin Wall. Okay. Like that. I feel like that's fair game. Why don't we talk about, just talk about their music. Yeah. yeah. Oh, like, I love all Cool Buzz. Oh, man. Octoon and the drive and the, and the autobahns. Uh, mm -hmm. Their famous, their uh, famous song. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it, it, it has that big, that big, that big, yeah, it, it has that big moment at the beginning where you just they yell that like iconic chorus. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> uh, uh, <laughs> Patreon.com slash great night. <laughs> Uh, that's where you can go. Yeah. And, and, and if you, we're going to play for you guys bonus content, the yeah. bones, the as bones. we like to call it on the other side of the paywall. Mm -hmm. Uh, and, and if you were on that, you might've already heard this, but also if you are a member of patreon.com slash great night, you're going to get a fresh episode because we banked a bunch before I fucked right off to Germany. We, we're <laughs> celebrating the year by Kicking Justin out of the country. <laughs> yeah, by, 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 by deporting me. Yes. <laughs> Go overseas. Yeah. Don't come back until August. Literally never been a better time to become a patron. Patreon.com slash great night. New content all month. And now it's new to you. Bones time, baby. Now, now the, mm -hmm. the nudies.
Nudie bones? Nudie bones. Nudie bones. Nude to you. Nude, 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 nude down to the bone. Yeah, no, yeah. yeah. Nude to you. See, New to you bones. It's easy nudie to bones. say that. Nudie bones. Yeah, nudie bones. nudie bones. These are all nudie bones. We should have started the month with that. Enjoy the, la- the last of the nudie bones. Yeah, we are back live next week. We'll see you then. Uh, Bonnie just sent me this uh, Nature Vibes uh, set of images of squirrels doing superhero landings. <laughs> it's pretty great. Which is, think, yeah, exa- a- which is exactly what you think it would look like. <laughs> I don't know if that's where they got it. <laughs> they, there, from squirrels. Somebody, somebody, Stan Lee's like, uh, like I was sitting in the park. No, no, no. I was the squirrel real, the fishing. Real superheroes. Oh, the real superheroes. Yeah, the real okay. Superman yeah. got it from uh, 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 they, Captain they, America they was like, like, I, love I was squirrels. fighting Nazis, yes. <laughs> and there I saw out of the corner of my eye a squirrel landed, and he looked really awesome. And I said, I should do that. <laughs> it's <laughs> me, Excelsior. Steve Rogers. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta take a call from my friend Iron Man. <laughs> Hello, Steve. It's me, Iron Man. <laughs> hey, have you seen these squirrels? <laughs> I was just in the park <laughs> and I saw one. <laughs> me and my dame were out uh, uh, The Incredible Hulk, Bruce Banner, what are you doing here? <laughs> oh, I don't know. I just, uh, <laughs> anyway, it's me, the Hulk. I was seeing and squirrels too. It's a simple bit. <laughs> uh, is it? It's a very simple bit. I mean, it's a we, very well, we, simple we established bit. that they it's all have to It's a very speak. simple <laughs> bit. I don't know. It's a very simple bit. Hello, welcome to the Bones. Oh, welcome to Bone Town, bone baby. And what? Uh, this is this is elephant bones. Is that brief? Ooh. That brief three or four weeks where it's like every morning it's it's paradise here. Exactly. Every morning, Enjoy there's a halo hanging from down. the corner of my girlfriend's <laughs> four-post bed. That's right. Uh, had you ever heard of a red flag weather alert before three weeks ago? Uh, I've barely heard of one now. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what That's what you? McCarthy was after. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was like, he was like, uh, hello, it's me, your senator. Yeah. And I'm, I'm tired got- of all these red flags <laughs> running around. <laughs> Um, that's that's how uh, all of those committees start. Uh, yes, it's me, Representative Johnson, a senator, <laughs> and uh, oh I've got God. some senating to do. I would love to do a college was that his gig. first day. He, he was going from a representative to a senator. <laughs> oh, well, you know, I would love like to walk on stage at a at a college show and be like, "Hello, yes, it's me, Brian Brushwood, the magician. <laughs> yes, I'm going to do some magic for you now." Because in other jobs, it's not that strange to talk like that. <laughs> Hi, I'm Joe. I'm the plumber. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. You would you yeah. feel it would be weird if they just came in and expected that you knew who they were. Right. right. All right. All right. Let's get started. Now, listen, the concept of resistance to fire is as old as history itself. Lay out, Bryce. Lay out. Let him do the whole no. bit. The whole bit. No. Go. What I like about that bit is it is just him doing it and not even in a voice. No. It's just him doing it no. in another I cadence. think it was, it was as much for comedy as it was him proving to himself that he still remembers, he remembers. it. Yeah. Uh, uh, what, what, what the audio listeners couldn't see is I, I waved my arms around a little bit more. So it was different. It more was, than when you're on stage? Yes. It was less graceful than your arm movements normally on stage. Yeah, you have very like yeah. choreographed. Yeah, movements. the history. Yeah, the resistance yeah. To exactly. Fire. Yeah. This is this is not it's playing on an, like, on an audio medium. Oh my god, all. no! But I wish people were Bryce seeing is moving it. his arms like that one <laughs> lady who was like, "Why does this look like a cartoon?" <laughs> uh, oh yeah. yeah, yeah. That's what Bryce is doing right now. <laughs> it's perfect and harmonious and beautiful. <laughs> Uh, uh, yeah, a uh, red flag alert is, guess what, Texas? You're about to burst into flames. Yeah. Is Texas still on fire? Uh, I, I think There were big wildfires last week. There there have been a couple of uncontained wildfires, and, and we've been talking about this for a while, but I think it was like five years ago I read an article that, that said, Texas is poised to be the next California of fires. Yeah. Fires, it's right. me. Hi, it's me, Doug Fires. <laughs> oh, Mr. Uh, Fires, welcome yes, back. I'm the magician. <laughs> yes, well, no, your stage is I'm, right here. I'm the magician, uh, Brian Brushwood. No, I'm now the new magician. <laughs> oh, they dear. bought it too. Oh, my goodness. Uh, oh man. So you do your act, and then I'll just. I'll just throw in ad libs like a rap song. <laughs> Sorry, okay, is is that a so thing? So you go ahead and start. Uh, okay, so give him the history. Right, of, your, yeah. All right. Well, 
The concept of resistance to fire is one as old as history itself. Fire, fire. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 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 as far ahead. back as the ancient Greek tragedy Medea, references of Back it up, back it up. <laughs> <laughs> holding a bar of red hot iron in Woo! one scene. <laughs> hot fire! <laughs> <laughs> to prove innocence. on the beat. <laughs> <laughs> to prove innocence or sincerity. Damn, son, where'd you find this? <laughs> a practice that was co opted by the Romans. I have a soundboard too. And you lose <laughs> right. Well, over over 2000 years. Shit. At this point, I stop and I'm like, you're not even doing this live? And you just go, burr, 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 burr. <laughs> Hi, Jerry. <laughs> I netted on the beat. <laughs> there's there's a TikTok producer who, that is their producer tag. I netted it's on so the good. beat. I netted on the beat. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, um, uh, uh, that reminds uh, me of a time I nutted on a beat. Well, no, no, no. Uh, TikTok is what triggered this. Um, uh, here's a new segment called "Shit That I Heard on AM Conservative Radio." <laughs> Damn! So, <laughs> dad, <laughs> dad gets a phone call uh, huh. from an unknown number. Here's his daughter screaming. Uh, Dad, it's me. Help, 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 help. And then, and then, uh, uh, scuffling and, uh, a, a very gruff, um, voice says, We have your daughter. Uh, we're, we're, uh, going to do terrible things to her, uh, uh-huh. unless you get money and it's pay taken. the ransom. Yes. Uh, so dad is, do we know the accent <laughs> on the assailant? Well, we, uh, you know what? New sentence. We know that he was about to send the money to Mexico. Uh, okay, so oh. so Hispanic accent, uh, Latin. Because I've, I've never I've never heard one. What, sure. what do those sound like? Uh, 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 it's me, Fernando, the Spaniard. <laughs> exactly. Hey, welcome to Mexico, friend. I'm here to fight your bulls. Uh, we have a Fridays. <laughs> um, yeah. No. Uh, apparently, you should see the lunch menu. The dad. Uh, had withdrawn money in cash, oh, had a briefcase, Jesus. was going. Now, s- sorry, this is not your dad. The dad. The dad. The, okay, the, okay, the, okay. In this the story, uh, this, this is an AM radio conservative talk gotcha. story. I thought yeah. your dad was listening to the radio and then got a phone call. Uh, uh, you know what? <laughs> let, let me let me get a pen and <laughs> write a note to pull this on my dad. Uh, but... Um, <laughs> Basically, uh, <laughs> fi- finally, the mom gets the police involved and they stop him because uh, all they had done is they had taken enough samples from his daughter's TikTok posts to create one of those uh, uh, robo voices. Oh, it was a deep fake. Uh, yes. Wow. And so she was able to, they were able to have her say the right things to say and enough of it that he was absolutely convinced that his daughter was in peril. Now, I mean, but, but that also means that like she, he was targeted specifically and they like found her, like there's a lot of perfect storm well, not, not, not really you, what you do is you find somebody of the right age mm-hmm. and you try to dox them figure out where they are uh you get enough sample size that you can make a robo voice sure. and then you find out who the dad is or like does he look like he has money yeah all right let's go uh, uh i think this but is called spear fishing right but that's what i'm saying well, it's like it's no it's, that, that i mean well, that that spe- is spear fi- no i would no it is no because spear fishing in general you are you Targeted. are Yes, targeted, but usually it is replicative. And like like scams in general are something that you can kind of throw out to a bunch of people. This is this is more of a specific. Yeah, that's con. why that's yeah. why it's not fishing. It's, it's spear, spear fishing. Spear fishing yeah. is, that's, yeah. or I guess in some cases they call it laser fishing because it's Ooh, more high tech. I than like laser fishing. Spear fishing. Yeah. Well, I was still alive. That'd be my new hero, a man with a lightsaber for. A fishing rod, and he would go rod. laser fishing with with ghost fish. <laughs> yes, <laughs> he would find force ghosts, giving advice, and say, "Oh, there's a new Jedi over here," and then they would be chasing it, and then they'd be on the hook, and bada bing, I'd sell them to Disney too. <laughs> Excelsior, Excelsior. But I'm dead. Yeah. Now, now, now I can hope for ghost. Now all I can hope for is to be interviewed by Captain Morgan. <laughs> so uh That'd okay. be a great bit. Oh, be uh, a maybe it might already yeah, be maybe, maybe, maybe episode okay. two. Uh, Who knows? <laughs> uh okay, so uh was that story real at all? Yes. Okay. Uh, apparently. Uh, uh because uh, like uh I mean because if it wasn't real 
it would seem tailor made to scare people on conservative radio. Right. Well, which if is you why are writing a fake story that conservative radio could run with, but also it would read almost word for word what you just trafficking, said. Trafficking, the youth, deep fakes, scary computers. Correct. But uh, uh, because AM radio is lazy, <laughs> they will go to some kind of news feed. So, so the whole story could be manufactured yes. whole cloth and be published as news and on, show up on in their feed. News the, 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 the wide patriot dot biz. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the wide <laughs> patriot. <laughs> yeah, freedom <laughs> isn't thin. <laughs> <laughs> Big as the wall. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wide Patriot Fat minds and fat wallets <laughs> The Wide Patriot <laughs> a, a, a Double XL uh, it's, it's MAGA with four A's <laughs> <laughs> Something something about the Purple's Mountain Majesty we'll figure, We need to shop that one the, Yeah the, uh, uh, Beat mm. Yeah, no, mm-hmm. I, I, boy, nah, that no. was a, that was a, that was a hell of a challenge. You, but all I'm thinking <laughs> yeah. of is purple headed warriors, as far as <laughs> oh, I can see. Wow. <laughs> that's on the wide patriot.com. <laughs> that's, yeah, yeah, they, they, XXX. That, that's why they had to get <laughs> that base because the white patriot, it's like the White House. It's like yeah, White House. the original up. one is porn. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, that whole era probably ended. Do you, did that whole era of going to what looked like a legitimate website and just suddenly seeing porn pop up, did that end before anyone who's 18 would run across it? Today? Yeah. Probably. Yeah. I guess it probably did stop around the late aughts when when Google yeah. started. Do, when, do, do I, the kids go to websites anymore? Uh, who knows? Or is, well, that, is that the untamed wild wild internet and they're like no it's the new dark net is is, is any web if you get a desktop computer (laughs) you could type in anything anything Anything. Uh, i feel like uh like banner ads and those ad networks have because there's so much more scrutiny on like ad on porn pornography really Mm -hmm. uh i feel like you only see porno ads on porno sites now yeah yeah um whereas it, oh, it's it not. Was, it's not. I, used, wild used to to I dare yeah, you right. to play this game. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I, Try not to have a blast. Yeah. Yeah. It's just warding. like uh, this um, is addictive. Yeah. yeah. And it would be warding. Like, you will leave your wife after playing <laughs> this game. <laughs> okay. Can I share? Yes. I just need. I just. I just need to know that I'm in a little. You're bit in the trust. Yeah, you're trust, in the trust tree. Uh, uh, I could show you the superhero squirrels again. Many years ago. Uh huh. Uh, you know you're talking into a mic. Uh, <laughs> you're aware you're talking into a mic. Oh, I know. Okay, good. Uh, many years ago, when Netflix was still, uh, was earlier on in being streaming. Yeah. Uh, did Were you aware that Netflix used to, and probably still does to some amount, uh, have just a lot of soft corn pornography on it? I actually do know that. Because one for for Brett's real quick, I just I can't let it go and said that you accidentally said soft corn pornography, which I love even more than soft corn. Country girls make do. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> like creamed? <laughs> I don't know. I guess I will. Yeah, that uh, sounds well. like hard corn. <laughs> uh, I would I would prefer corn discourse. <laughs> I don't. Let's, I want to hear the rest of it. What do you think? Spiced or like, do you throw anything else in there? Throw like, a little Tony Shishir song. Yeah, just a little sprinkle up top. Burns a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> but if it's not on the cob, is it real? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Is it uh, on the cob, though? Green corn? corn? How are you going to How are you gonna get it off the cob? For cream? Cr- it? Well, for cream corn. Yeah, you would yeah. just cut yeah. it. You, 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 you shuck this so fucker. You shuck it. You shuck it. You just grip it. You just grip it. Rip it. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck man, corn, dude. <laughs> <What's>, <laughs> All right. So, so explain to me with, why you know about the softcore pornography. A fucking, is that a chicken? It's 
Yep. What? There's a chicken in the yard. Well, there's, there's a chicken. chicken. There's a chicken. There's just a chicken. <laughs> Man, you start talking about corn and this fucking chicken shows up. I have to take a photo of the chicken. <laughs> take a photo of the chicken so everybody knows. I'm going to post it in the Discord. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Welcome to Chicken Chat. Yeah, yeah. we talking about soft corn chicken, pornography. Chicken chat. <laughs> can we take these mics and walk? Can we walk toward the chicken? <laughs> we can do a nature documentary. We yes, can go we can. Full, we can. Yes, we can. Full All right. NPR. All right. Here We're we go. Walking full. toward we the chicken. Never go full NPR, they say. Never. We've done this before. We're all tethered to Bryce's bag. Okay. Right. But we're going to go explore um, this chicken. We're going to get an interview with the chicken. Okay. Bryce right. is now loading. We are. Head off. You've got, you guys have yeah, a pretty we're, good we're, lead. We've okay. got, we got we go. stuff. We're making our way. We're walking. We're, we're walking. walking towards the chicken. This now. is a okay. shocking. Okay, this way. We, we need to adopt our NPR voices. I feel like, oh my gosh, I'm so nervous. In the hill country of Austin, Texas, there sits a sun-dappled seven acres. Brian Brushwood owns it, and he also <laughs> does a podcast. But one day, something weird happened. Yeah, man. No, uh, you know, normally we don't got chickens around here. But then one day I'm looking up, and all of a sudden there's chicken. And I'm just like... Hey, chicken's here. His feathered friend is named Gary. <laughs> he just fucking walks around and we takes a shit. Literally three <laughs> cosplaying NPR. We're just pretenders. walking around <laughs> looking for this chicken. chicken. Right now. He doesn't see. He's walking away he's from walking us. Walking away from us, but he was already going in this direction. He was. Yeah. yeah. The thing about Gary is he don't like to talk very much. I once spoke to him about a lot of stuff, but he didn't reply. Everything was going great. Oh, I think until, we might be about to get a statement. Until Gary's old Facebook post surfaced. <laughs> and I'm going to walk on up and see if I hear. Oh, did you hear that? All right, can I'm going to get close. Me? Nature. Uh oh. Uh oh. This chicken's running. This chicken's running. Gary's on the run. Gary's on the run. Running There's from a, one side to is, another. This is the most exciting <laughs> episode of Great Night we've ever done. This is very big bird in the hall energy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's trying to figure out how to get video. back to the neighbor's yard. Oh. And I think the hole the is hole, over that way. Oh, the hole is plugged right here. Oh, is it plugged? Oh, yeah. Oh, no. All right. <gasps> Can we get in? Yeah, he wants back. Oh, yeah. Gary, buddy. what the fuck, dude? Okay. Okay, okay, listen. Let's hopefully he comes back over here because that would be good content. <laughs> uh, here I could I could kind of corral him back this way. Here, I mean, hold my mind. All right, no, I got a video. That's really okay. all I care about. All right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, thank you, Gary. Okay, thank Thanks, you, Gary. Gary. Ladies and gentlemen, Gary. Gary. That's a wrap on Gary. That's a picture wrap on Gary. <laughs> <laughs> so the lesson we learned is that while chickens may be delicious. Sometimes they're too hard to get to handle for an interview. <laughs> for great night, I'm Brian Brushwood. Our audio producer is Bryce Neshcom Castillo. Special thanks to Justin Robert Young and to Gary. NPR is brought to you by the Alfred J. and Melania F. Hitler Foundation. <laughs> Melania? Oh, no. <laughs> they're nice guys, though. This, this is not Hitler is? Oh. No, no, they're not those Hitlers. <laughs> they're the philanthropist Hitlers. Oh, let's see. My, my apologies. Yes, they're from oh. Germany. Oh. But they made their money in stocks. What uh, 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 you are listening to? Volkswagen's oh, corn stocks. Oh, okay. We're back to corn. <laughs> okay, all right. And We're back to corn. Okay. And side quest completed. Un unlike Skyrim, we could actually close the loop on one of these. <laughs> How did he get over here? Is uh, the question. The neighbors have chickens, and yeah, yeah chickens but if they can, plug, but the, if they the plug hole the hole up, uh, they uh, chickens can fly up little bits and fly for a little bit. So my guess is he did not fly right over the fence, but instead. Flew up on a thing and then up on another thing and then flew across into our yard Whew. and now cannot fly over the, right. the eight foot fence back. We but need to make a chicken ramp. You're right. <laughs> we need to make a chicken right. ramp. Let's ramp this hoe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like one of those cat playgrounds. Yeah. Actually, yeah. just make all of Oh, man. Fuck. There, uh, chicken full chicken playground. I will engage uh, <laughs> in fantasies of just like, what is the weirdest shit I could do? Yeah. The idea of like all seven acres being nothing but a cat playground <laughs> would be <laughs> like, that would earn me an article. It would be incredibly, <laughs> it would be incredibly Austin, Texas to have a seven acre cat cafe. Absolutely. Mm. Feral cats, though. 
<laughs> like you can't touch them. They will fucking scratch you and none of them are checked for diseases. <laughs> the way it used to be. Yeah, that's a safe harbor. If we before, don't check, we won't have to know. all these liberals got involved oh, in the no. cat cafe business and fucking ruined it. <laughs> all right, so speaking of articles, uh, we have to pick up a thread that we meant to do on Tuesday night, but we forgot. Yeah. Um, mm. uh, we have a conspiracy theory alert. <laughs> uh, yeah. That someone at the New York Times... Maybe we should have sold our podcast to the New York Times like Ira Glass asked. Yeah. Uh, 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 asked? <laughs> well, it, that was his suggestion. So, uh, 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 again, we talked about Teller is a big fan. And he was like, we've what? told this story, haven't uh, we? I don't yes. know if we have. Okay. Uh, yes, I'm pretty sure that you have. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, he asked Ira Glass for like, uh, hey, you should listen to this. And you have any advice? And he's like, yes, my advice. Hi, it's me, Ira Glass. He's like, my advice is sell your podcast to the New York Times. That's what I did with my podcast, Serial. And uh, to which Justin and I were like, uh, Thanks, Ira. This Thanks, is dude. Super helpful. Uh, it's <laughs> like it's like we went to the Disney World exhibit of Ira Glass. <laughs> like, turns out he's exactly uh, also, what you would think. Uh, he's like, I, also, I made a podcast too. It was called Serial. Also, also that I, I don't think that was sent directly to us. I think that was passed along to us. Uh, so it was just no, general. We were on it. <laughs> were we not? I don't think Ira knew that we were on it. I think that was handed to us. Oh. Uh. Well, I thought it was to us, but uh, no, no, it was sent to no, us. No, I, 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 I thought we it was. I thought it was a a we were a CC on it. I don't know if it was a forward. Uh, I don't. Know. I, I, I think what we got was. Uh, uh, I hey, don't I want to help. I don't fucking. Know, okay, man. anyway, I don't know. But but hey, here's the important uh, thing. Uh, hey, uh, I look like I know. Here's I don't, the I don't fucking know. Look, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Get <laughs> I mean, God, my son's out. <laughs> Clouds? <laughs> I don't fucking know, dude. I don't fucking know, man. Right. I don't know. Now, but do you know? We got to get to hey, the country. Hey, I don't know. No, you don't. Here's no. the thing about me. I get up in the morning. <laughs> I put my pants on one leg at a time, and I don't fucking know, dude. <laughs> I don't know. I don't. I'm like, fuck, fuck, I don't know, dude. Sometimes uh, uh, we just rely on our stable of funny names, but then sometimes I hear a voice, and it's like I know exactly who this is, and I'm like Steve. Yeah, that's a Steve. That's a Steve. Steve doesn't fucking know. Uh, mm. So controversy. New yeah. York Times comes oh, up yes. with terribly creative headline. Uh, they do. Uh, they, they're, I Should don't know. They're, they're talking about, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's read it it's, it's an article about the Anna Delvey case, which it's an is op-ed. Uh, uh, very much in the news. She uh, is a modern day scam artist uh, right. who they just uh, did a big Netflix show about. Yes. What, what was the... Which, by the way, I started to watch, and I was rather digging up until New York crawled all the way up its own butt and explained <laughs> why nothing matters but New York, yeah, and it's, New York is where it's city. happening. It's, it's a Shondaland thing. It's very soapy. Um, but Anna Klumsky's great. I think she's great. And then the the, the girl who plays Anna Delvey, uh, the, uh, Ruth from Ozark, she's fab- fantastic. Oh, yeah. She is. And you can't even... You really don't... It's very hard to tell that that's her. Because she puts, like, Anna Delvey's got a little bit of an accent, um, and so she doesn't sound like... All right, here, I got it. All right. Uh, Victims of scammers aren't stupid. Dot, dot, dot. They're (gasps) human. Okay. It is entirely possible that somebody... All right, here's all right, let me let me let me preamble this. Yeah, re, just read it again. Uh, we, well, we, uh, we, let, we hold on, hold on. Okay. I, I just want to preamble. There's a lot of times that, especially when we do bits on the show or like you you say something that people will be like, "Oh, look at like I bet you they're listening to to Great Night or whatever." Mm-hmm. But it's like bits where we're where we're you know it, it, like it, it's if somebody was like, "Oh, the I don't know guy," and then next thing you know, somebody says, "I don't know" on a, a television show, and they're like, "I bet you they listen to Great Night." It's right. like common stuff, right? Like like even the the no hobo gag that we did ten exactly. years ago, like uh, somebody's like, "Oh, look at this." It's like yeah, that came out a year before we made the joke. So, yeah, we, you know. we always get people sharing the Sam's Club logo because there's a bracket in it. There's a, right. Yeah, the diamond thing. So we're like, under no illusions. We understand that that there's common ground. A lot of people have similar ideas. Yeah. That being However, said, they fucking ripped us off. Yes. <laughs> somebody, <clears throat> somebody at the New York Times listens to the show. I and when when we mm. came up with that tagline. Yep. Uh, I don't remember ever it being, hearing it. Anywhere I, it, it has stuck out for people 
a lot. Uh, so, I, I, wait, wait. upon upon seeing, uh, upon speaking it the first time, because uh, it was a collaborative effort, right? Uh, mostly, I mean, Justin wrote it, uh, but uh, <laughs> but but upon speaking it, uh, there was this clarity of that is the heart of all of this. That's the yes. heart of the messaging. That's the heart of this is vi like sometimes you, you stumble into a phrase and you're like, that is very good. And this was one of those moments. And that's why it's the first thing you see on the website. It's why it's in every single episode. Yeah. Um, uh, and, and, uh, world's greatest con, not for nothing. Top 100 of uh, top 50 pocket casts of last year. Uh, not, not was it nothing? Yeah, exactly, right? Now, uh, but and now in the uh in the editorial process, I feel like there are a lot of injection points where someone probably maybe did see, you know, maybe they had heard the the podcast and like so maybe either the writer of the op-ed had heard it somewhere or had well, heard it from the podcast editors or the, write headlines. Well, so, yeah. So something, or maybe okay. the editor yes. heard it. Yeah. Um from and forgot that they got it from there but i but uh i think if the great if the gray lady knew it was the a old signature gray lady yeah she's also old oh is she yeah. okay if the old gray lady yeah uh knew about that i feel like they wouldn't intentionally steal a, a, a trademark oh no a slogan the new york like times would never just steal yeah. something and act like they made it up yeah. that's something very out of character for the I, new york all right. times I'm just saying, all right this I, is this is no longer a steve I this is a doug <laughs> i don't know get doug I'm out of the here new york times all right come on doug right, come on doug I'm that's really doug. unfair come on doug that's untoward come Sorry. on <laughs> I, i'm uh, the old gray lady now <laughs> my pronouns are she her <laughs> i was just saying uh, that i think it's there's there's probably it's not a conspiracy i don't think there was a conspiracy that it no. happened i bet no it probably it, did it's happen it's but theft. i don't think it's it's a it, i mean conspiracy. it is it is no. theft uh, it, they stole it from us uh, and i demand uh, <laughs> compensation here, here is, okay all right, i'm all right. suing the new york times <laughs> yes. right, now now this guy's justin <laughs> <laughs> um uh, uh uh i think there's a shorter route to take, uh, uh, I think we talked about it before, but we talked about uh, temp tracks that are used in movies mm -hmm. where they just say, yeah, something that's like um, uh, uh, hosts the planet's uh, Mars. And they'll use that through all of production. And then the very last thing they'll do is swap it out for, they'll say something like this. And then they'll get a composer to, you know, the the beats are the same, the, uh, uh, you know, the, the actual progression is slightly different but but it hits all the same things like for example when when you hear the temp track that was used for star wars the opening fanfare which came from an old western and then you hear the final one um i'm not gonna say it takes anything away from the genius of john williams but it makes you understand that he's not superman <laughs> yeah uh, because it is you know just block for block the same thing uh i wouldn't be surprised if the temp title was cons don't fools because we're human we're stupid is because we're human and then the very last thing they did was the editor took the temp score and you know pulled a john williams on it and says scammers are different than cons yeah <laughs> i, feel I like mean that's exactly I think, what i described well yeah but i used music Yes. <laughs> also, <laughs> also, I don't think that headlines go through that many iterators, iterations in general. Like yeah. usually, like the articles go through a lot of iterations, and the reason why the the writers don't write the headlines is because, well, back in the day, you had to make sure that the headlines were written last because you didn't know exactly how much space they were going to have. So you mm. like, that's why editors kind of evolved to have that role because there was only like, that was a constantly changing thing based on a, a various different layout. stuff. Now in the, in the internet era, it doesn't matter. You can say whatever the fuck you want, but a lot of the headlines are still derived from the things that are in the printed paper, but I don't know where that ran. I don't know if it was a magazine thing or something else, but mm. Anyway, we got yeah. fucking fleeced, and I'm <laughs> and I'm furious. <laughs> well, and and, and uh, by you should write, by the way, you should that, write a New York Times op-ed about it. I know, the yeah. Great lady, uh, no, the great lady new, stole the, my slogan. No, the new the new slogan of Great Night is all the news that's fit to print, <laughs> <laughs> uh, all the news that's fit to publish. Exactly, totally different, guys. Exactly. I don't understand. We're the podcast of record. <laughs> Democracy we're dies the, in the void. We're the young of. Uh, 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 
what's the synonym for gray? We're the young beige lady. Yes, the young beige <laughs> boys. <laughs> Beautiful beige boys. <laughs> Beautiful beige boys. <laughs> <laughs> laughing and in interviewing dot, dot chickens, XXX. <laughs> <laughs> pitching soft corn. <laughs> Man, I wonder what Gary's up to. Oh, I don't want to know. Uh, but uh, you could tell from the indignance in Justin's voice that uh, our default is almost always like, "Yeah, it's pretty unlikely that that got knocked off from us." Not, I, 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 I if I were a betting man, I, I, I just don't see it any other way also in the world of journalism making fun of the new york times is just kind of a thing like everybody just does it constantly um usually as a latent out uh, outlet for your desire to eventually work at the new york times but uh uh yeah so whatever fuck them they're lazy and shitty and, and they stole our shit but them. if you do want to buy world's greatest cause, we're say, listening. It sounds like we're like interested buy, in it by so quite a lot. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're open to bids in the mid seven figures. Right. Yes. In these like two or three wordles. <laughs> <laughs> we think we're worth at least two wordles. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wordles as a uh, unit of counting. Yeah. What oh, speaking of which, man, I made the transition. I can't give up hard mode now. That's 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 so how what I do is hard mode on Wordle. So it forces you to play your green letters every round. Oh, you don't have to play the yellow ones, right? Ooh, which which uh, is fun because oh, that's what I do anyway. Yeah, uh, right. But hard mode doesn't give you the option to like do a sacrifice word or oh yeah, but, whereas, whereas, whereas does, like i that? love sacrifice words to to just clear the board mm. like my <laughs> in a hard mode my first word is gynos <laughs> g-y-n-o-s <laughs> yes okay. because I, I just want to clear out as many letters as possible and if there's a weird one like a y like uh i think today there there was yeah, a y yeah, well, let's let's say hey word all uh hey, word spoilers whatever word, word this alert. is not going out live it's <laughs> going out in an hour Okay, Wordle spoiler. Wordle spoilers. Wordle spoilers. Go play Wordle. Pause the thing. Go play Wordle for play five the minutes. Wordle. <laughs> Start with the word gynos and yeah. see if you can. But you know, I, I didn't three though. Uh, yeah, Ooh, dude, you guys nice. crushed it. Yeah, it's because we had a really dumb second word and it wound up being fucking amazing. Yeah. Uh, so I I keep doing. I'm still Team Beast, but now I think I've settled on a second word when I have no letters in yeah. Beast because that's happened the past couple of days. So I use glyph. G-L-Y-P-H? Yeah. Because Ooh. then you're getting all the compound letters. Then you're getting rid of stuff that would go with a C, would go with a K, would go with uh, all that stuff. Because the vowels are actually not very important. Like, you're going to figure out the vowels. Yeah. yeah. And 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 that's why uh, we, we we thought ado was so uh, clever. But then it's like, congratulations, there's a vowel there in there. There are vowels in it, yeah. Uh, but but uh, I'm a big fan of like a C-H-P-H, um, uh, it, it, like you said, any of those compound ones. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So we'll talk. Uh, trivia update. Oh, <laughs> trivia update. Trivia update. Uh, Bryce is smart, but <laughs> competitively. <laughs> not not this week. Oh, uh, how'd it go? So the, our team. Uh, Was it another uh, Elden, Elden Ring uh, uh, bit yeah, for you boys? Yeah, we were still, why is it always pickle? And, uh, out of 15 teams, we came in 12th. Wow, so oh, you really dear. sucked shit, we huh? You guys were rounds. playing opposite day rules. Yeah, and I think part of it is that, I think the other part of it is that the, some of the quiz was relatively easy, and I think that there were a lot of teams, and so I think that that meant that it was there was a lot less margin to get yeah. for, for hard questions to be worth as much. Uh, so we ended up in 12th. Um, with 61 points. I've got some questions for you. Yeah. All right, ready. Uh, thank you again to our friends at Geeks Who Drink. Um, this is a round all about... Uh, uh, never mind, never mind. Uh, this is a multiple choice round. Uh, some historians believe that Vincent Van Gogh's ear was actually cut off in a duel by what bestie artist? Is it Paul Cezanne or Paul Gagan? Gagan. Gagan. It is Gagan. Get the fuck out of here. Was, was, he was French. Yeah. Mm. He was not in the U.S. Uh, this was for two points. There are two answers to this. On the week of July 27th, 1984, Prince had the number one movie and the number one single in America. Name them. Uh, number one movie was Purple, Purple Rain. Rain. Yeah. Correct. <clears throat> number one single of would be uh, When Doves Cry. 
They're exactly right. Damn. Only 13% of teens got uh, When Doves Cry. We, I remembered the movie Purple Rain, mm -hmm. and I thought that the single, the Purple Rain single was the number one, and that the movie had a different name. Mm -hmm. no, uh, and I well, got it backwards. Maybe I'm just like my father, <laughs> getting fooled by a Mexican <laughs> deep fake. <laughs> <laughs> Who this man? It's <laughs> <laughs> a great uh, man. That was what eight years ago that we talked about how Bonnie insisted that when doves cries is that, yes. that lyric is, and now I'm going to do my impression of, of doves crying. crying. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> God, that's funny. I did not realize that that song doesn't have a bass line, uh, but apparently that was a huge talking point about that song when it came out. Wow, really? I did not. Uh, I was today days old. Yeah. Apparently yeah. they had written a baseline for that song. And then a member of the revolution said, eh, should we get rid of it? And Prince was like, yeah, we should get rid of it. Wow. Uh, and so it sound is because it sounded a little too traditional. Yeah. With it. So a mm. uh, little fun fact. Uh, okay. One more. Uh, oh. Also, he, uh, uh, I, I wonder if the bass would undercut like what's part of what's great about that song is you know, he affects that really deep voice, like maybe I'm just like my father, yeah. you know. And uh, if there is a bass under that, it, it might would not... get muddy. Yeah. Yeah. I can see that. Um, okay. Uh, last one here. Pusha T just released a diss track slash ad that slams <laughs> McDonald's and shills a fish sandwich for what chain that usually uh, celebrates the art of Arby's, meat craft. baby. Oh, I thought it was Burger King. Nope. It was Arby's. Arby's. Damn. Apparently Pusha T also yeah. wrote the I'm loving it jingle. So I did or a deep dive on this. Jingle. Uh, yeah, I did a deep dive on this. Uh, he helped write the rap that went along with the initial uh, oh. uh, uh, out. But, like, but, 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 yeah, song. but it was like, because he had been working with uh, Pharrell and Justin Timberlake. So it was Justin Timberlake that was doing the the rollout. Like he was like singing. They're doing the little rap thing over top of it. Pharrell did the production, and Pusha T wrote for the rap. The ba da ba ba ba. I'm loving it. Was a German thing that they uh -huh. brought to America and has since become really popular, but it was like a German McDonald's thing. Uh. So I have long thought that Pusha T, because that has like been conflated, that yeah. he's like, oh, like Pusha T wrote the I'm loving it thing. Especially it's because of this Arby's news story. And that's, yeah, it, it, it got him paid uh, yeah. to do a, a dish, a, a diss track, a, a literal a diss track. fish diss track, oh, by the way. Oh, God damn it. Uh. A literal, yet again, ripped off. Yeah, and This right. is also a very credible rip off. <laughs> this is this also is, a credible yeah. rip off. As, as credible as the New York Times stealing our tagline. McDonald's, please buy our podcast. <laughs> but also, Pusha T, who I don't think, and I'm a huge fan, has ever gone within three lyrics of not mentioning producing, buying, or selling cocaine. Ha <laughs> <laughs> uh, even sneaks uh, sneaks a cocaine reference into the Arby's ad song, uh, <laughs> where he's like, like, like if you know me and you know me well, then this will be the fish that tips the scale. Fish scale being a yeah, term a for scale. cocaine. Oh, yeah, wow. Oh, uh -huh. fish scale. Okay. Yeah, if it's so pearly, Got it's it. like a fish scale that's very pure cocaine. Oh wow! Uh, but yeah, it's just amazing <laughs> that. Pusha T gets paid to chill for Arby's and still cannot help himself from mentioning <laughs> cocaine. cocaine sales. <laughs> That's amazing. Do you guys remember when the Hamburger Helper Corporation paid a good deal of money to release an album all about Hamburger Helper? Do we remember no, that? But that sounds that was only awesome. A, that was like five or six years ago. But that really happened. Uh, and the music is all right. It was, still, it? Like, it was like <laughs> that was part of it. Is like the music was all right. Was was it like people that that were known or was no, it, it? It was, was like, like like the SoundCloud. hamburger helper it, all stars. No, it was like SoundCloud rappers. Okay, uh, I think also am I imagining? But I think uh, Waffle House had a jukebox filled with nothing but songs about, about Waffle House. House. Oh, yeah. Really? Oh, wow. yeah. oh yeah, that's clever. Yeah, you just play. It's like fucking. It's it's kind of weirdly North Korean, but like also. <laughs> It's all uh, pentatonic scale. Yeah, but 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 oddly, like it's charming when Waffle House does it. Mm, mm. It's like, what are you gonna do? Get mad at a Waffle House? You're at a fucking Waffle House, dude. <laughs> that's, 
<laughs> that's her, it, says, it says on the back wall, and they don't even like the staff is so tired of saying it. Just when somebody acts up, they just they just tap the sign. <laughs> You're at a fucking Waffle House. Waffle House. Like, you decided to come here. Like, we're oh. all dealing with this at the same time. <laughs> Can you please make it easier for all of us? Waffle House, our shared trauma. Like, yeah. However rough you're having it here at Waffle House, please remember I live here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not allowed to leave. <laughs> you are. <laughs> Man, that was that was my once a semester treat on the road. Was, Sleeping at Waffle House? Uh, you know, just, just full on diving in and like, I don't give a fuck. Give me, give me all the grease, all the everything. Oh, yeah. So, oh, yeah. One of the like weird like friendship memes that I have with my buddy Anthony was the one time we were driving up to Orlando to go to a theme park and we stopped at a Waffle House on the way up there and I got pork chops. And he has never let me forget <laughs> that I ordered pork chops for breakfast at a Waffle House. You ordered- it, that's not the craziest thing. I didn't think so either. <laughs> this fucker. Oh, dude, I've I've mm. seen some intense silence over from Bryce. Oh, look, look at big Mr. Bryce with a bunch of chop opinions. I I would also like a pork chop for breakfast. Yeah. But I don't think it's breakfast food. And you went to a breakfast place. Oh, no. I, I, this I, isn't I, a no. breakfast place. I mean, yes, it has breakfast. It is good for breakfast. We were there at breakfast time, but it is an all. It, it, yeah, it, but you're yeah. having breakfast. I you're am. At, at, nah, I'm moving over to the. You know, it's ain't nothing but breakfast. Ain't nothing but breakfast yep. is your argument. Yep. That's right. That's, you got a pork chop. You couldn't just get ten pieces of bacon, my man. Yeah. Uh. Uh. I'll get the uh for breakfast. I'll get uh, chicken fried steak and eggs, which is it, never finish it, but. Yeah. It's uh that's good. So it needs to have eggs with it, is what you're saying. Yes. I mean, yeah. Pretty much. I mean, you're in America. Throw a fucking egg on it. Come I on. would prefer not to, though. Throw a Bryce. fucking egg I on it. I would prefer not to. Just hey put man, an egg on it. I don't uh, want an egg take on opinion. It. We go to our correspondent, <laughs> Gary the Chicken. <laughs> <laughs> we got a. a I, was, I could hear. I, the, I could tell that the got, audio is going to be pretty good. good. We got good sound <laughs> from Gary. <laughs> I wonder if Gary's on the back acreage now. He's just living his life. <laughs> well, uh, uh, I think he walked out to where the fence ends and just walked around the fence and oh, is probably uh, back home now. Good. That was a great moment, man. That's awesome. Gary was running. <laughs> you guys remember Gary? <laughs> <laughs> that's that's going to be the Founders Day thing. Everyone's like, where's Gary? Where's Gary? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe that's that's the Patreon uh, uh, the secret meme. handshake. Yeah. Yeah. It's hey, like, Gary. I'm a uh, <clears throat> friend of Gary's. Yes. Yeah. And you, you reply with, <laughs> 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 That, that is a good secret Patreon handshake. Yeah. That's the official secret ha- Patreon handshake. There are going to be some very uninformed people going, why is everyone yeah. balking? Bo- is there a... <laughs> we got some fogs in the house? <laughs> now the neighbor's going to be... There's going to be hundreds of people and they're going to be all like... They're, if somebody's going to knock on the neighbor's door and be like... Uh, Sorry, we're just all fans of Gary. <laughs> yeah. Please don't do that. Gary, this is not Gary, a joke. Please don't do that Gary. specific thing. Do everything don't, else. Please no, don't do that don't, specific thing. Don't. Don't. Inflatable <laughs> Gary's, <laughs> Gary t-shirts, all in bounds. All in bounds. That's right. By the way, uh, if it helps you money with the visual. Will, like, that's in bounds. <laughs> we have photos. But we have photos. Not. I was going to describe yeah, them. They'll be in okay. the Discord. Go to okay. uh, <laughs> discord.greatnight.tv. Man, the newest star of Great Night, Gary. Gary. I think it might be a rooster. It's probably... Probably a cock. cock. <laughs> wow. All wow. Right, we're not going to beat that. <laughs> no. Uh, uh, please enjoy your soft corn pornography. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we never got to that story. <laughs> oh, we didn't. Oh, well. oh damn it. Oh, oh well, That's shit. an adventure for another Patreon day. Where are we at, time-wise? Uh, 43. Well, we oh, have six shit. more to do this week. <laughs> We do. We have up to five <laughs> per week. <laughs> That's right. Up to five every week. Up to five every up. up He's not your, wrong. Up, up your five. This is this is what being technically correct sounds like. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, we're out. Bye. Bye. Thanks for the money, dog. Appreciate the guapacino, baby.